Welcome back to another episode of Popcorn Sunday where we've watched your short films and today we're going to talk about them. Popcorn Sunday is all about sharing and providing feedback on your short films so you can learn, we can learn and we can all give feedback on the films so we can make our next ones better. If you want to submit your film to Popcorn Sunday, simply leave a link down below with a comment, maybe just outlining what your film's about, who you worked on it with and maybe some of the things like how you think it went. We've also teamed up with Sullen Shorts Film Festival to provide you guys with a 50% off discount code, which is the film look, no spaces, to submit your films to their festival. Sullen Shorts is our local festival. We've submitted films in the past and we have a close relationship with them as local filmmakers. More about the submission details at the end, but let's start talking about your films. The first film we're going to watch is called 12th Arrival and it's from Nate's Film Tutorial. If you want to watch it, link's in the description, so go check it out, then come back and we can talk about it. We thought the atmosphere of this film was really, really nice. The the shots of outside with the grey sky, the uh, the thunder rumbling in the background. We've all been in this mood before where you're sitting or standing at the window, drinking a crappy cup of coffee, waiting for the world to come crashing down. Uh, if you've ever seen the film Take Shelter, it also does that. It's it feels like it's in this film and it was really nice, you certainly set a mood. So this film doesn't really have much of a storyline, it doesn't have any dialogue, um, it doesn't have like the character building up or having conflict, but the whole film feels like conflict, like Rich said, there's definitely an atmosphere within this and it, it just works, it's, it's really good. It's a well executed, very very simple idea, it was just really nice and it certainly gave off an intense vibe. We just want to give it out to Nate's uh, Film Tutorials, who this film is. Um, he's got a great YouTube channel. Um, go check it out. It's got a lot of like filmmaking tips, gear reviews, things like that. Go check it out. All right, the next film we're going to watch is called Bite, and it's by This Is Campbell. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, just please, please stop turning. Just, just stop it! This short film had a really impressive set. We watched the behind the scenes of this uh, short film and it was really cool to see how you built it um, with, and how you added the light and the smoke and how it was just all so, kind of self-contained and purposefully built for this film. Um, and the, all of the shots were, you know, the worked really well. In terms of the production design, I guess we're being nitpicky here, but the costumes did look dirty, but they didn't look weathered. I guess you just need to get a little bit more sandpaper on them, and then they certainly would have felt like they were inside the world. The other feedback that we've got is that your dialogue was a little bit quiet um, and was being drowned out by the other sounds in the film, especially the creatures. They were a lot louder than your main character's dialogue, so it was a little bit difficult to understand them sometimes. The other thing is we watched obviously the behind the scenes and this was shot in a warehouse and because you're shooting in a warehouse, there's a lot of reverb coming into your microphone. Um, obviously if this was set on shot in a certain location of the cabin, you wouldn't have that reverb. It's kind of just a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but it's just something to think about next time. Your music was a really nice choice. It certainly fit the bill and your sound effects were really great as well. We loved the, uh, was it like the crickets or the owls or something in the background? Uh, in terms of its audio, it certainly sounded like it was in this old creaky forest shack. Obviously this film was made for My Road Reel and their submission limit is three minutes. Um, we feel like you could probably get about 20 to 30 seconds off this film and still tell the same story and still hit the same punchlines. This is probably just a personal preference, but there's certain punchlines that you probably could take out or just tighten up to tell the exact same story. So thank you everyone who has commented with their short film so far. Again, if you want to submit your film to Popcorn Sundays, just comment down below and a little synopsis of your short film. And if you want to submit your short film to Sullen Shorts, remember we've got that discount code, The Film Look, all one word, which gives you 50% off the submission for the film festival. And the only requirements that they have is that it needs to be no longer than 20 minutes long, it needs to be finished by January 2016, and also you must be 18 in order to submit. 
happy submissions and we'll see you in the next one.